In this video, we will consider one example on bilinear transformation. Assuming that t equal to 2 seconds in bilinear transformation and given the following points. The first point is s is equal to minus 1 plus j on the left half of the s plane s is equal to 1 minus j on the right half of s plane s is equal to plus j on the positive j omega on the s plane s equal to minus j on the negative j omega on the s plane convert each of the points in the s plane to the z plane and verify the mapping properties before solving this problem i will explain the mapping properties between s plane and z plane so assuming that this is the z s plane and let this be z plane here the radius of this circle is unity that is 1 let this be a real axis of z and this is imaginary axis of z similarly in s plane this is real axis and j omega is the imaginary axis the first mapping property is the left half of s plane is mapped onto the inside of the unit circle of the z plane it means that the left half of s plane that is which i have shown with pink color lines this is left half of s plane which is mapped into inside the unit circle so here i have shown inside the unit circle with the same lines similarly the right half of s plane is mapped onto the outside of the unit circle of the z plane so the poles which lies on the right half of the s plane that i have shown with blue color horizontal lines these will mapped into outside the unit circle outside the unit circle means it may be here outside this or it may be this outside this entire unit circle the positive j omega axis portion in the z plane is mapped onto the positive half circle on the unit circle it means that the positive j omega axis that is this this is the j omega axis the positive j omega axis is mapped onto the unit circle similarly the negative j omega axis that is this is mapped here on the unit circle these are the mapping properties between s plane and z plane now we will try to solve the problem and we will verify whether these three mapping properties will satisfy or not so in bilinear transformation the relation between s plane and the z plane is given by the equation s is equal to 2 by t z minus 1 divided by z plus 1 so here t value is given that is 2 second therefore we can write s is equal to z minus 1 divided by z plus 1 so here s values are given so from this equation i can write it as s in bracket z plus 1 is equal to z minus 1 or we can write yes z plus s is equal to z minus 1 or we can write yes z plus s plus 1 is equal to z therefore i can write s plus 1 is equal to z 1 minus s therefore we can write z is equal to 1 plus s divided by 1 minus s therefore z is equal to 1 plus s divided by 1 minus s so now we consider the first case where s value given is s is equal to minus 1 plus j so now substituting s value in this equation i can write z is equal to 1 plus minus 1 plus j divided by 1 minus minus 1 plus j simplifying this i can get 1 minus 1 
plus j divided by 1 plus 1 minus j which is equal to j divided by 2 minus j. So simplifying this, so we can simplify this directly using calculator. It gives 1j divided by 2 minus j. It gives minus 0 0.2 plus j 0 0.4 keeping this answer in rectangular in polar form we can represent it as 0 0.4472 at an angle of 116.56 degree here this value is nothing but magnitude of z therefore magnitude of z is equal to 0 0.44 7 to which is less than 1 it means that the s value which is minus 1 plus j in s plane so minus 1 plus j is nothing but say somewhere here in s plane is mapped to mapped into z plane in the inside the unit circle because here the value of z magnitude of z is 0 0.4472 which is less than 1 it means inside the unit circle in z plane so now we can say that the first property is verified so now we'll take the second case where s is equal to 1 minus j so therefore now i can write z is equal to 1 plus 1 minus j divided by 1 minus 1 minus j simplifying this we can write 2 minus j divided by plus j simplifying this we'll get that is 2 minus j divided by 1 j it gives minus 1 minus j2 keeping this in polar form or taking magnitude of this we can write it as 2.236 at an angle of minus 116.56 degree so here we can see that the magnitude of z is equal to 2.236 which is greater than 1 so here when s yes value is 1 minus j means say it is on the right side say somewhere here it is mapped to in z plane as 2.236 2.236 means outside the unit circle that is this value is mapped outside the unit circle therefore the second property is also verified that is here i can write outside the unit circle in z plane now we'll take the third case where s is equal to plus j so therefore now i can write z is equal to 1 plus j divided by 1 minus j so simplifying this directly using calculator i can get 1 plus j divided by 1 minus j it gives 0 plus j1 which is nothing but 1 angle 90 degree it means that here magnitude of z is equal to 1 that is nothing but on the unit circle in the z plane and angle 90 is positive side it means that this value that is plus j s is equal to plus j is here this value is mapped on to the unit circle in the z plane and angle is plus 90 means it is on positive half circle 
therefore this property is also verified so here i can write on the unit circle so the fourth case is s is equal to minus j so in that case z will be equal to 1 minus j divided by 1 plus j simplifying this we will get 1 minus j divided by 1 plus j it gives minus 0 minus j1 which is equal to 1 angle minus 90 degree so here also we can see that magnitude of z is equal to 1 but the angle is minus 90 degree it means that the s value on minus j is mapped on to the unit circle mapped onto the negative half circle on the unit circle so this property is also verified that is on the unit circle so these are the corresponding z values for the s values and all properties are verified thank you for watching